I wonder what's waiting in store for us today in Mario Kart Wii CTGP. I guess today we'll play as Princess Peach. Oh, I like Peach. Uh, let's let's be, let's be in the Day Tripper. This one has pretty decent turning, if memory serves. Keeping up with manual, all right. At this point, we are now on the Chain Chomp Cup. We have GCN, Luigi Circuit, Unnamed Valley, Volcano Canyon, and Undiscovered Off Limit. What a name. All right, well, <laughs> let's try it out. Chain Chomp Cup, huh? They really should bring back the Chain Chomp power up from Double Dash. It was basically like a diet version of the Bullet Bill, but I think it worked well. All right, well, Luigi Circuit's a very, very basic course. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi Circuit, yes, that's a very average course to play. So nothing new here that we haven't already experienced, so this gives us a nice opportunity to get used to the day trip returning again. It is Princess Peach's carriage, so I thought it fit in to play as her while in it. Alright. Wow, multiple people went this way. I am surprised. All right, well, so far, so good. I mean, again, this is the this is the first course in Double Dash, so it's not going to be super difficult. But still, like... This is quite refreshing. And Luigi Circuit is a fun one. So always happy to see this back. As far as, like, the first... The first course in any Mario Kart game is going to be on the basic side. So I think as far as those first basic courses are concerned, Double Dash's Luigi Circuit's probably one of the best. Alright, things are getting a little tricky now. Alright, boo, get out of here. My bones, that was meant for boo. Okay. This is uh, interesting. I'm gonna actually throw those backwards. Getting shrunk. It's not great that my two main competitors are extremely heavy and fast characters. Really? That hit me? Really? A green shell? A single green shell. Really? Are you for real? Yay. What's with th I, I got triple reds in third, and I got a single green shell in, like, sixth. Really? Well, that was very unfortunate. Still a fun course, but that series of events was not great. Alright, well, that was the warm-up. Hopefully we can still win the circuit. Now we're on Unnamed Valley. Really? The least you could do is give it some kind of a name. It looks cool. This course looks pretty boss. You just need to work on an actual name. Okay, well that's an extremely sharp turn right at the start. Immediately st oh, it's nothing but 90 degree turns. Lovely. And a lot of jumps. I really gotta replace this music, man. Okay, that was not intuitive. Not even like, you're not even gonna put a sign down telling us that we need to move to the left or right? Even the CPUs aren't able to handle this, oh my gosh, what the heck? This is gonna be a short course. Oh god, you move it, Bowser. What? I was in midair! Wow, the CPUs are out for blood. This is feeling very personal. Wow, can't remember the last time I was on the giving end of a blue shell. I don't care if that is off-road. That's way faster than taking a long run. Move it, Wario! Oh, it's a five-lap track. Interesting. Are we even going to be able to make it over these jumps if we're shrunk? Oh yeah, okay.
Wow, my red shells did absolutely nothing. Really? The instant I get into first place, you hit me for a blue shell? Really? Whatever. I'm still in the lead. Ouch. Of course feels a little cramped. Ooh, that was close. But honestly though, give this course a name and like maybe put up some signs to let you know you gotta go left or right at the jump. I think you've got a pretty good course. I don't mind this on the short side. Oh, I guess there are kind of signs. They're just not the traditional ones. Okay, never mind. That's fair. I just won't pay attention. Okay. I guess the shrink will help out a bit. Alright, cool. That course went much better than Luigi Circuit. I come out on top, and it looks like Kimbu is not doing so hot. Oh yeah, he won 7th. Yes, okay, that evens up the score a lot. Dry Bowser's still in first, but not by much. Cool, alright, I actually thought that course is actually fairly fun. I, I will give that one a pass. Now we got Volcano Canyon, so it looks like we're taking Grumble Volcano and just tweaking it a little bit. Okay, I can get behind- wow, okay, that looks pretty cool. Okay, this is this is this is a weird looking course, but I, I can dig it. The Princess Peach and her royal chariot are here. Alright, Dry Bowser, that was the most rude of you. Also, you're in the honey coop, which should not be able to pull off a move like that. Okay, so we're going deep into the volcano. Alright, I'm digging the course thus far. Oh, we can go up or down. So we'll go down low first. Oh wow, lots of different ways to go. I bet the top route is the fastest, but it's also risky. That's just what I'm betting. Oh, no, that's the uh, break, 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 break. Bowser, you tried to push me off. I will kill you. Oh, what? Stupid drifting. Darn it, and I, I tried so hard to avoid going off the cliff. All right, this course is pretty boss though. I actually, this course looks great. Darn it. I couldn't drift. Vol enough to get the one on the left, but I couldn't drift tight enough to get the one on the right. Move it. Well, looks like I won't be going up the top route both ways. Because the bullet bill is like, meh, I'm going in to bite him. Okay. I'm noticing the CPUs are, he like, hell-bent on trying to knock me off the cliff. Really? In between the power-ups again? That happens way more often than it should. Wait, oop. Still don't know the course that well, so... Turn it in the wrong places. That's okay, this is a fun course. This is actually easier than Grumble Volcano. I can appreciate that. And it looks so good! Alright, we're gonna try top route now. Okay, so both both of the ways, whether it's left wow, really. Really? Uh fake power up? I'm not in first place, I'm in fourth. I just 
don't get hit by the boo. Booyah! Take that, King Boo. Cool, and that spreads out the points a little bit more in my favor. Wonderful. All right, I really like that course. That was a really fun one. Great use of the volcano theme. I like the multiple different ways, but it doesn't break things too much. It was good. Okay, undiscovered off limit. This, what the heck, that is a, that ceiling is making me claustrophobic just looking at it. This is, this could either be really good or really bad. I don't think, I don't think it's going to be mediocre. It's going to be one of the extremes. Oh lord, look at that mini-map. And it's only one lap. Great. And it's got the N64 Bowser Castle music. One of the greats. Okay, we're driving into a star, which is launching us upwards. What the heck? Okay, visually and conceptually, this course is freaking amazing. We'll see if it keeps it up. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. What the heck? Okay, we're jumping back into the water. Um, okay. Go down a box, fall down here. We're in a Koopa Cape kind of situation. Oh man, they get faster and faster. Yike! All right, I, you know what? I actually am digging this course. I was skeptical at first, but man, this course is actually quite fun. What the heck? Okay, that's a little weird. Oh my gosh! This is crazy. This is like Choo Choo Rocket. Why is the timer counting down? Oh wait, no, we're going the wrong way. We are going the wrong way. I did not realize that the big rainbow thing is what we were supposed to drive into. Because that's just not intuitive. Oh no! It's another one of those things where you go off the ramp, but you have to be in a very specific part, otherwise you just fall off a cliff. And there's no signs indicating that that's the way it should be. Okay, cool. This course is not this course does remind me of like a Mario 64 kind of mini level. Oh my Yoshi's just stuck. Yoshi's just stuck. Okay, this narrow, this low ceiling is just giving me so much anxiety. Right now. I also have. Oh no! Now we have to fight against the current. We launch up again. Oh man, that was the end. I feel like they could have made that a two-lap course. Great, so we don't even win first overall. That was a really cool course. I just think that maybe you could tweak it so that it's more obvious where you need to go in the different places. But otherwise, that was actually really fun. Like, that was really fun. I actually really like that. Maybe make it two laps, though. One lap felt like it was a little too short. Or maybe it's... A, it would probably be a case of, like, one lap is too short, two laps is too much. I get it. It can be hard. All right. Second place overall. Well... Considering I'm literally playing on 150cc and that course was like absolute nuts and I've never played it before, I'll take it. I'll take second place for that circuit. Especially after the disaster that was Luigi circuit. Okay, I think now we're going to play as Toadette. And I'm going to play in the Bit Bike. Now, I haven't been in the Bit Bike in a very long time, so we'll have to see where this goes. I don't think it has very good turning though, so... Oh boy, this will be fun. Next we've got- what even is this cup? It's like a t-shirt with a C on it. Custom t-shirt cup. That's what I'm calling it. This is the custom t-shirt cup. We have Honeybee Hideout, Desert Fort, Rosalina's Ice World, and Kamex Library. Okay, Rosalina's Snow World is gonna be Rosalina's Ice World from the 3DS one, and I have actually played Kamex Library with my sister, so that one was interesting. So the first two should be... Completely blind, though. Honey Bee Hideout. Okay, we're going for a beehive. That's cool. That's a good theme. We have not had any courses like that before. I like it. Original theme, and it looks pretty cool. Reminds me of, like, the... 
Uh, Flight of the Zener levels from Donkey Kong Country 2. Mini map looks interesting. Okay. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> oh my gosh. The power ups are honeycombs. That's so great. Oh my gosh. Move it. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this fiend has outside drift, but it has really, really good non-drift turning. So we can make adjustments as needed. Bowser, Dry Bowser is going somewhere interesting. Okay, we got bees. Well, Kingdom Hearts taught me not to fear the bees, so. All right, dude, this course is so cool. It's so cool. Oh man, this is a big hit, oh yeah. This course is amazing. Doggone it! I got bumped from behind. My banana peel went forward right onto where I was gonna go. Is that how we're doing it? Hey, a blue shell when I'm not in first. Who'd have thunk it? Is Dry Bowser the main competition again? I'm sick of Dry Bowser constantly being in my way. I also really should just start picking the bikes that I like and I'm good with. And not like, I'm going to try out every vehicle. Even if they absolutely suck. Although I'm not sure if any amount of, hey, I'm going to try every vehicle will make me even play as the spear. The spear is absolute garbage. For those of you who don't know, the spear is a heavy guy bike. And its gimmick is, like, depending on when you are, like... Its main gimmick is basically like sometimes it has inside drift and sometimes it has outside drift. It's not consistent. I'm not playing that. I may not play in some of the standard stuff either, but I wanted to try Bit Bike because it is a little guy bike. I knew it would have good turning even if its drifting wasn't fantastic. And also, I haven't been in it in a while and I wanted to remember what it was like. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the Bit Bike. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Bike is also really slow, which is not good because Dry Bowser is freaking fast as all get out. Oh no, it almost made me shrink into that uh, banana peel again. All right, this course is really good though. Wow, this course is good. Oh my gosh, no, no, no. Gotta know when to hold them and when to fold them. Oh, no, no, no! No, no, no. Oh, man, this is bad. Okay. I want to see what all the fuss is about going over here. Because the CPUs keep going over here. Okay, that's not even really, like, a shortcut. I don't know why they kept going over here. Oh, yes, Donkey Kong's in second. Good. I'd much rather go up against a stubborn gorilla than try that. That's at Blooper actually will okay no freak are you serious? And I didn't even grab the mushroom off the road. I am sad. Oh wait, no, that's off road. This is Winnie the Pooh's favorite course, by the way. Man, I should have made a Winnie the Pooh -y and played it him for this level. Perhaps in the future. That was really good, though. S-tier level right there. Super fun to race on. Absolutely beautiful. Really reminds me of the kind of level that would actually be in an official Mario Kart game. So whoever made this, really good job. And yes, Donkey Kong one second, not Dry Bowser. Eat it, Dry Bowser. Eat it for lunch. Okay, well, we're off to a great start in the custom t-shirt cup. Can't wait to see what's next. Oh, that's right. Next is Desert Fort. Could be good, could be bad. Desert courses also tend to be... I wow. Are you sure this is Desert Fort and not, like, Sandcastle Fort? Oh man, there are flomps on the boost panels. I like that. <laughs> it's a risk to go for the boost panels now. I like that. Alright, I can dig the mini-map as well. Uh, 
Alright, let's just go up the center way first. Alright, we got the Dry Dry Ruins music. Woo! Okay, I like this course thus far. Oh! <laughs> Flop almost hit me. Oh. Darn it. What the? Why did they chuck it that far? I demand answers. I'm not tricking over that. Hit the Pokey instead. Alright. Boing! I was on it. You're always there to ruin my fun, Blue Shell. Peach! Peach going down. Down. All right. Well, now we're at lap two. Oh my gosh! Oh, cool. Whoever's in first, Donkey Kong's going down. Wait, I think. Oh, I may have seen a potential shortcut. And if I was, cor if I'm correct, that shortcut's gonna be really cool. Sleep with one eye open, Donkey Kong. Drive, Bowser. You're not supposed to be in this race. What? I hit his banana peel. My banana peel vaporized just so I could get hit by the red shell as well. God darn it. Well, this is a fun course. Are you serious? These CPUs seem like they are just completely going out of their way to smash enemies. Wow, the, wow, at least he didn't even pick up the freaking power up. He literally just wanted to make sure I didn't get the power up. Uh, okay. That was a very weird interaction. Going back this way, there is a giant crate over here. And remember... Nope. Okay, maybe I couldn't break it. It looked like there was a crate that was blocking the entrance to a secret passage. I don't think I fell off of there. Well, Alright! That is it! The CPUs are so annoying. see that cut in front of me maneuver just to take my power up. Like, what a scum of you. Otherwise, though, this course is really great. This cup is off- okay, custom t-shirt cup is off to a great start. Also, Kamek's library, if memory serves, was pretty fun. Which means that really the only dud's gonna be Rosalina Dice. Because it has literally nothing to do with Rosalina at all. See, Mario Kart is kind of famous for being like, oh, we got, like, a snow course. Let's just throw somebody's name in front of it. Usually Wario. It's like, this course has literally nothing to do with Wario, but we're throwing Wario's name on it, so it's Mario Kart. It's got, yeah, Wario, he has a shipyard, and a mountain, and a gold mine, and multiple stadiums, and a coliseum. It's like, no, he doesn't. It's like, well, he does now. Oh, yeah, of course, Rosalina. She's all about the ice world. I think... Yeah, I think up next, like, Rosalina's Ice World, they kind of got Rosalina and Elsa mixed up, I think. Even though Mario Kart 7, I'm pretty sure, came out before Frozen. Timeline on that is iffy. But yeah, Desert Fort, great course. Really, really liked it. Very fun. Yeah, Rosalina's Ice World. I'm calling it Rosalina's Ice World because that's what it is. <laughs> Man. Uh, yeah, I remember this course not being very good. But maybe, maybe I'll be surprised. But why are you not calling it Rosalina's Ice World? What the heck was that? Oh no! 
Well, that came out of nowhere, just like Lucas. I don't remember this part of the 3DS. Or, what? Oh, I hate that. It's an incredibly narrow road, and the slope, like, kind of forces you off that way. Oh, I hate that. I hate that a lot. Okay, I remember this part. You don't want to fall in the water. It doesn't count as falling off, but, like, uh, it's a long way. Oh, this is bad. No, I don't like this. Big Baby Peach in the Cheap Cheap Car. Donkey Kong took two power-ups because he's a greedy little butt. I hate Donkey Kong. He's being super annoying. I don't dare go on the half-pipe. I just know if I do, it'll send me flying up and force me off the cliff. I, I already know that will happen. Wow! Does he, I don't even have enough speed to get over. Cool. Awesome. Thanks. Donkey Kong. Actually, no, I need to grab Bowser. That's fine. Wow! Really? You all are going down. Are you serious? I do not remember the 3DS course being this dumb. I remember it being bad, not this bad. What the heck? I think they made it harder. I'm gonna have to pull up like... I'm gonna have to pull out Mario Kart 7 after this and play this course again. Because I am pretty sure most of what is here was not here in the previous video. Only part I remember being the, li the larger lake you gotta drive across. Like, they added all of these half pipes just to Mario Kart Wii and I don't like it. I don't even have enough speed to get over there. That's such BS. Everybody's taking every power up. I'm not going that way because it's a thundercloud idiot. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. What? Oh, uh-uh! I won fifth place. I did not touch Dry Bowser. What? Okay, that course sucks. But I mean, I knew that course sucked even in the 3DS one, but this... Oh, yeah, I'm not picking that course again. They actually took an already bad course and made it worse for CTGP. And it's in the track rotation. Great. Who wanted that track? Nobody. That's fine. We're two for free. So it's still a net gain, and we're on Kamex Library, which is a pretty fun course. Kamek's Library is also a board for Mario uh, Party DS. Not a very good board, but I'm pretty sure this is where the namesake came from. Alright, here we go. Why is it whenever I'm a little guy, I'm just surrounded by, like, super fat guys and big cars that are always weaving into me and trying to talk Okay, I don't know what the CPU's issue with me is, but wow, they are going far, far, far out of their way just to torment me. Like, look at that! He wasn't gunning for anybody else, just me. Stupid mice. Knocked them all down. All of them. Yeah. Get Bowser. I don't think we ran over Bowser. He deserved to be run over. Really? Books aren't that solid. Okay, I'm not gonna be in the bit bike again. Bit bike is garbage. Oh boy, best power up. Alright, yeah, Baby Mario, no matter where I was, Baby Mario kept weaving in front of me to take my power up.
Bow Dry Bowser also just did a whoop de woo move that's impossible to do in the off-road, just so he can take my power up. Going sideways. Good riddance. Oh, we can take the shortcut now. Ha ha! But this course is actually pretty good. I like the design of it. The mice are a cool addition. I like the throwback to Mario uh, Party DS. Freaking course a blue shell comes because I can't have any anyways. Only issue with that course was just how ridiculously aggressive and, uh, and mean the AI were being. Still, doesn't matter. We came out in, in top. We're 10 points ahead of the second placer, so that is a good victory, I would say. But man, the AI in this game is mean. And here we go, first place. Rank D, because the AI were jerks. <laughs> and for, like, literally no other... Oh, and Rosalina's Ice World, never mind. I admittedly did not play the best on that course. Well, there we go, two more cups down, and you know what? Three out of four courses being good, I'd say is still a successful cup. We're, we're, a cup is allowed to have a dud course. Two is pushing it a little bit, though, so... It's all right, cool. We got that. Some very fun courses today, and some not so fun courses, but I expect that in any CTGP video. That's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching, everybody. Next time we take on two more cups, and I guess we'll be a heavy guy again. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what's up with that, mate. I may, I may stop. I might have to stop being in the custom vehicles, or at least take a break and go back to being like Flame Runner, Mock Bike, Dolphin Dasher, Bullet Bike, Magic Cruiser. As being, I might have to do that honestly, just because. Man, these these other vehicles are annoying. So, yeah, look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day and God bless.